Hello everyone, this is Lukajin. Thank you for joining me. We have a new LP to start. I'm so excited. Just to give a quick warning, along with this warning, um, this is a new game. And even though I have played this before, I'm going to go through it for the people that have not played it before. So I don't want any spoilers at all. If you post spoilers, I'll remove them. And if you keep posting them, I'll ban you. I'll do it. So, yeah, please don't do that. I would like to keep this um, experience as good as possible for the people that have never seen it. So let's start. All right, here we are. We're going to start a new journey. This is us. The game's going to go through a very small tutorial now. To move your camera around, you can kind of tilt your controller to the left or right with your hands, or additionally, you can use the right analog stick to kind of go around. This is us. It also shows you how to move. With the left analog stick, you can run around. Kind of simple at first, but you'll see it'll kind of change as we go. Like Shadow of the Colossus and Eco, this game is very unique and special, and therefore I will be LPing it close to the way that I did those other games. Um, I'll be doing very minimal talking, only when I feel the situation needs it, probably not during any cutscenes. So we start off in this vast world, and the only thing we can really see to do here, as you can see, it's very empty. Is there's some things up there, so let's go that way. And see what there is. As you get to a higher cliff, it's difficult to move. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Journey. I can't wait. All right. Well, here we are. We can look around. The world looks vast, like an open world, but it actually isn't never-ending or looping. If you try to go too far to the left or right of the path that the story is deemed for you, it just doesn't let you go any further. So don't worry about getting lost um, or like, you know, oh, maybe there's something out this way that I should look at. There isn't. It makes it look like a very vast world, but it kind of also shows you where to go so that you don't end up floating around in the desert for hours on end. Similar to Shadow of the Colossus and Eco, there isn't much, if any, narration in this particular game. I actually don't believe that there is any at all. 
we will see some things that kind of give us clues as to what's going on, but there won't actually be any physical text that I can read or any voices that I can do or anything like that. So far, we just run around and see what there is to see. It looks like these... Now, I'm not exactly sure what these are. Again, please don't post any spoilers, but to me, when I look at them, they appear to be grave markers or markers of a certain event. Something like that. We can see that mountain in the distance that we were looking at earlier. Now we can't jump or do anything really noteworthy except for running. However, we can do this. Now when I do that, you see there's a little noise that happens. And there's also a little glyph above my head. You see that? That's when I hold down. If you hold it down, you can do something like this. Where it's almost like a shout or a louder noise. Um, to me, this seems like there, she's talking, he, she, it is talking. Your communication. You can do little ones. Just by pressing a circle. So we do have that. We have running, and then we have the communication, or kind of like sonar. The little, uh, the little glyph. Now what's this up here? Looks like there's another similar glyph in the wall. Let's check that out. Right, and then here's another part of the tutorial. The glyph kind of circled around us, and as you can see, a part was added to my cape. It's kind of like a long little ribbon in the back. And then we have these little floating ribbons that are kind of around us, and they made that part glow. Do you see that? I have three little glowing parts. If I press down X, I can now jump. I can only jump as long as the glowing parts are. Did you see that? So three seconds, pretty much, because I have three glowing parts. Now the ribbons just kind of refilled it, so I can do it again. Then they're gone, and the ribbons refill. Do you see how that works? These are our power. Now do keep in mind, if you start a new game, you will only have one glowing piece on the back of your ribbon. I have three because I've played the game before. When you play the game again and again, and you will want to, you start off with a little bit more than before each time to kind of give you a little leg up. So that's why. Now, if we go this way, it looks like there's much more to see. We see some ribbons floating around in the distance. More markers, some stones, and things like that. I also see some bigger structures over there that I'd like to take a look at, so let's go that way. So now we know if we need that power for anything and we're out, we should probably look for these floating guys and then see what we can do. I'm gonna jump now. Wee! <laughs> they sometimes help you too. We'll see that a little bit later. Alright, what's this then? Part of a ruin, looks like. What can we see in here? Okay, so it's telling us to do something now. You don't really need to hold down the circle if you don't want. It just drains you of your power. If you have power on your little ribbon, you can just light these up by being near them. So that's what I'm going to do. What's this? I guess it wants us to do this. There we go. <laughs> Get that tutorial out of the way. Now, this picture looks like some of those markers. And then it also looks like one of us on our side. It's kind of sad. That would lead me to believe that these markers are in fact gravestones. These kind of pictures we'll see all through, and they kind of give us little clues as to what's going on. As of right now, we don't know who we are, what we're after, or what we're supposed to do. So we just kind of go forward <laughs> and see what we can find. More markers. You'll see these a lot through. They do kind of follow a path that you should go to. Now we can do a little sand surfing here in a minute. If you find hills, you can often do this and it's pretty fun. <laughs> Wee! Pretty cool. 
a faster way of getting around. Now, I see a shiny glyph up there, and that interests me, but let's check this out first. This big thing here. She can't jump unless you use the power, but you can go up small little inclines like this. They can usually get up by themselves, just like this. See that? Anything too high and you probably won't be able to climb it. Aha, there's something below. Let's see if we can fall. Ah, there we go. All right. Now if you see when we touch that glyph, we got another piece added to our ribbon. Now we have four, which means our jump power will last even longer, which is good. Obviously that's going to be one of the main goals. The more power we have, um, the stronger we'll be, and the more we'll be able to jump over um, important jumps and, and get to places that we need to go. So we do want, it's kind of like leveling up. Now it's telling us to hold down and kind of do our little shout or call. We'll call it call. Ribbons! Our friendly little guys. All right. <laughs> now it's telling us we can do something with them if we call. They'll lift you up. See that? Very far, way further than I could jump by myself. So maybe we can use that to our advantage. They do kind of follow you through a certain amount, depending on. Each situation is a little different. It looks like they want to hang out with me. I'm going to call again. Have them lift me way high up. Let's see if I can get to that glyph over there. I may miss, but we'll see. There we go. And that's how you get that one. We added another piece to our ribbon. Now around here, it looks like you could almost go to some of these places, um, but you really can't. There's really not much to look at in there. Um, it's just really pieces of a background to kind of set the stage for you. You can go look at them, but there's really nothing of importance over there at the moment. Um, if you played this a couple of times over on the hill that we passed, there is a couple of things there that you can look at for New Game Plus, but we don't need to look at that right now either. So let's do this. Let's get back up here. And you can use your power if you feel to get up a lot of the places. I, I just run. <laughs> I like to save my power, and you'll see why later. I'm a big conservist. All right, guys, fill me up. Now, there's something of interest over there, if you can see. See that over there, that big glowing thing? I'd like to get to that. So let's have our guys help us. And we should make it over there with ease. Here we are. Boop. Now these markers again with the like the yellowish on top, these are ones that we can light up by being next to them. Once you've lit them all, the circle appears and the statue begins to glow. We'll have a seat. statues are kind of like what I would interpret as our ancestors, a god that we're maybe praying to, a storyteller. As you can see, we got a little piece of a story there. 
the mountain that we saw at the beginning um, apparently created or a power from it created lots of life plants animals birds also these people who relied on the power within as their own power which is the power we've already seen power in my ribbon so we'll be seeing little pieces of these stories as we go all right and then you can see the door opened after we were told the story and this is how we progress Chapter 2. And I believe I will cut it right here. And when we come back, we will do uh, the second chapter of Journey. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>